Hello, Dr. G here from Natural Foods Diet. Today I want to give you some advice on how you can find out if you're on the right path as far as your optimal health plan. Now, my health coaching clients, I often recommend that they do a test of their telomere length. Now, I know that mainstream medicine says that this test isn't ready for prime time, so it's not recommended. But what is recommended by mainstream medicine for prime time? Drugs, of course, even if they've only had a six month study. So they want you on drugs, but I want you looking at your telomere length. Telomeres are the DNA at the end of our chromosomes and they're not part of the genetic code. They actually act to protect the ends of the chromosomes and prevent them from unraveling. Now, one study showed that telomeres tend to shorten by 19.8 base pairs per year and they tend to shorten each time the cell replicates. Many studies have shown that telomere length correlates with cellular aging. Scientists have observed that when telomeres are shorter, often disease and death are near. And one study showed over a six year follow-up that a significant increase in death from infectious diseases was, a, was associated with shorter telomeres. So it's a sign of immune senescence, among other things. Now I test this in my patients along with other biomarkers of aging, such as hormone levels, inflammation markers, and blood chemistries. I also often recommend hair mineral analysis. The telomere test is particularly important for those people that think they're doing well but want to be sure. I often think back to the case of my friend who was an endurance athlete and did endurance exercise on a regular basis. And he also had a good diet. One day, while riding his bike, he had a heart attack and died at the age of 50. Now, what would his telomere test have told us? Well, I don't know for sure, but chances are his telomeres would have been much shorter than average for his age. And when I find that out in my patients, then we know we must make some changes and also dig deeper to find the causes. Now, this is a common, ca common problem with people that do a lot of exercise and assume that the exercise is keeping them healthy. Now, in general, exercise is a healthy activity, but when it's done on top of other bad habits like ignoring nutrition, ignoring toxins, getting poor sleep, EMF exposures, stress, it can actually accelerate the aging process. I find that these people can often look good and have short telomeres. Now on the other hand, if I have a patient that's morbidly obese, has type two diabetes, sleep apnea, peripheral neuropathy, the telomere test might not be so important because I already know the horse has left the barn and you already know you have a big job to get him corralled back in there. Now the actual lab results of the telomere test are printed out on a graph that shows the average telomere length plotted against age. And the goal is to have long telomeres for your age. The next question might be, can I lengthen my telomeres? Well, a pilot study presented in the September, the Lancet Oncology showed that a holistic lifestyle program given to prostate cancer patients resulted in an increase of their telomere length by 10%. That was over five years. And this is compared to the control group that lost 3% of their telomere length over that same time frame. A prospective study of women reported in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in March of 2009 showed that taking a simple multivitamin seemed to increase telomere length by 5% versus women that weren't taking one. Other studies have shown a correlation between telomere length and vitamin D status, nutritional status, exercise, omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA, and also calorie restriction. After beginning my Abundant Life holistic program that I give to patients, we often see the telomeres lengthen. 
And this can motivate the person to stick with the program as they get verification on paper of their progress. Now, if you want more detailed information on where you can get this test, check out this blog on telomeres at naturalfoodsdiet.org. This is Dr. G, and thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our channel if you like this kind of health information.